The Great City of Taras Nabad, site of the first recorded demon attack in Argent Danur, which led to your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the Slayer began. Within the lower levels, hidden behind a weakened wall, a secret room can be found. It appears like a small cave, with a source of light from above, as constant water falls below, filling the small area, and in the corner, your eyes catch a glimpse of something. It looks like a golden skull, but upon closer inspection, it looks like not every part of the skull is covered in gold. You can see that some sections still have visible parts of bone. There's two other features that stand out. First one is the mark of the slayer on its forehead, which is also known as the mark of the beast, and it's also part of the lore linked to Davoth, the Dark Lord of Hell. The other thing I noticed is that the teeth are not human, it's more like a demon, so I compared it to a few things in the game, like the skull on the demonic crucible, which was not a match. Then I compared it to the skull of the Khan Maker, and this one also was not a match. I thought about the Archvile Demon, but again, no match here. I also tried to compare it to the Imp, but this one did not have the features of the Golden Skull. I even tried the Maker Angels, but their teeth formation is also different. The next one was a long shot, but I thought I would look anyways. The Doom Hunter does not match the skull. The city of Taras Nabad was the crown jewel of Argent de Nur. For centuries, it served as the spiritual heart of Argent society. So if this golden skull was placed here for the sake of the story, then the owner of this skull must have had a connection to the sentinel people. And that's when I thought, the marauder, what if we compare it to his skull? Because the gold skull is humanoid, but deformed or demonized in a way. I was really hoping the marauder was the character that owned this golden skull. I so wanted this theory to be true. At first, I was thinking, what if this was the first marauder that was defeated, and the skull was covered in gold, then placed in a hidden area, as a reminder of when they fought and defeated a powerful enemy. Because this was a former sentinel that was corrupted, they felt it was only fitting to place the skull within sacred grounds of Taras Nabad. But when I compared them side by side, the teeth are not the same formation, and the marauder has multiple bones and horns. So again, this is not a match. Here is the location of this area on the map. There's a small section in the corner. That's where you want to go. When you're in this room, the one with two blue portals, just turn around and follow the path in the video. At this doorway, go left and break the wall to reveal a hidden cave. And inside is the mysterious golden skull. I also want to show you that this secret room is right under the Titan, the part where you have to retrieve your crucible. If we look on the map, you can see the hidden cave is right under the Titan of this area. I'm not sure if this means anything, but I just want to point that out. So why is this skull covered in gold and then placed in a secret area and never mentioned in the story? And then I thought, what if it's a demon that was not shown but only mentioned in ancient history of Doom lore. Could it be the demon who upgraded the armor of the Slayer? The Slayer Testaments mention the wretch who shall not be named. Perhaps it was a demon that allied with the Doom Slayer, and the demons of Hell are aware of who this is, but they refuse to name it because they were betrayed by one of their own. I wonder if this has any connection to the warlocks mentioned in the Codex about the Spectre in Doom Eternal, they say it was created by them when they uncovered inscriptions of the Six Sealed Eyes. This group was seeking rebellion by means of black magic against the rule of the infernal arch demons. It also says that numerous abominations and ungodly forms were brought forth into the hellscape. So there were some demons that were going against the arch demons. It says there was some sort of rebellion. Could this be connected to the wretch that will not be named? Because in a way, 
the wretch also did go against the other demons in hell. It says the wretch adorned the doomslayer in a mighty armor, wrought in the forges of hell, impenetrable and unyielding. The powers of his armor are similar to what Davith's armor can do. So it's kind of saying that his armor had an upgrade with some powers taken from hell, which is also why the doomslayer cannot be stopped. If this skull did belong to the wretch, perhaps its skull was covered in gold, then placed in a secret cave within Taras Nabad, and then the mark of the slayer was carved on the skull as a reminder of the time one demon from hell would assist the sentinels and the slayer in their war against the other demons. Yeah, that's a big theory on who the owner of this golden skull is, but I'm not sure what else to make of it. Remember how the mark of the slayer appears on his armor, weapons, the helix stone, and in other places? Well, why would this symbol be on a demon's head? This could be the first, or maybe, a special demon that was defeated on Taras Nabat a long time ago, and its skull was covered in gold to remember the day of the first attack. I don't know, it's a big mystery, and I don't think it was mentioned in the lore of Doom Eternal, Ancient Gods, or the art book. Or maybe there is no lore to it, and it was just an easter egg. I also noticed that it's only the Night Sentinels that might have the mark of the Slayer on their armor. The warriors that followed the Khan Maker don't seem to have it, unless I missed it somewhere. So my last guess is that it could have been a Night Sentinel, and it was defeated in between its transformation into a Marauder. It's not a full demon, but going halfway. Yes, I know the lore says when a corrupted Night Sentinel is defeated, they are reborn as Marauders. That might mean they are reborn as Marauders in a full form right away upon rebirth. But this theory I have on a halfway transformation is just a guess on my part, at least in a way to fit the mystery of the Golden Skull. What I'm trying to say here is that if this Golden Skull is connected to a Night Sentinel that was turned into a Marauder, perhaps it was defeated before he fully formed into a Marauder. And the mark could have been placed on the skull, perhaps because it was a close friend or someone they respected long ago. Or, for all we know, maybe it's not even a bone skull. Maybe it's made of stone and covered in gold. Who knows? The golden skull looks similar to the skull switches in some areas, but the skull switches have this indentation on the forehead and the bones on the cheek area are more curved. So what do you think of this skull? Who do you think it belonged to? And what is the reason it was placed in Taras Nabad? Tell me in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.